ExpressVPN Guide, Set Up Media Streamer on Xbox One. Use this tutorial to learn how to set up your Xbox One with Media Streamer by changing your DNS settings. Media Streamer not working? To use the Media Streamer DNS servers, you must sign into your hostname provider and register your IP address with ExpressVPN. See the instructions below on how to do this. Contents, get your DDNS hostname. Sign in to update your hostname. Get your DNS server IP address. Configure the language and location settings on your Xbox One. Configure the DNS servers on your Xbox One. Register your hostname to access Media Streamer with DDNS. 1. Get your DDNS hostname. Note, Dynus standard free service is perfectly sufficient for most users. You do not need to create more than the four free host names in order to use Media Streamer. Go to https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and click create account. Create your account to receive the account verification email from Dynu. Open the link in the verification email then log in to your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and select DDNS services. Click on and add to add a DDNS service. If you do not have a host name already, enter your desired host name in option 1 and click and add. This is the recommended option FO users who are not familiar with domain names. If you already have your own domain name, enter your domain name in option 2 and click and add. Once done, you will see your host name and your current public IP. Uncheck both wildcard alias and enable IPv6 address and click save. And that's it. Your DDNS host name is set up and ready to be used. 2. Sign in to update your host name. From your Xbox One's web browser, sign in to your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com. This will ensure that your IP is updated in order to use Media Streamer. 3. Get your DNS server IP address. To set up the Media Streamer DNS server on your Xbox One, you will need to obtain the Media Streamer DNS server IP address. Open the welcome email you received when you signed up for ExpressVPN. Click the link in the email. If you can't find the link, log into your ExpressVPN account. Once you've clicked the link in the welcome email or logged into the website, click on Set Up ExpressVPN on the Active Subscriptions page. Select Xbox on the left side of the screen. On the right, you will find the Media Streamer DNS server IP address. You will need this address for the setup. 4. Configure the language and location settings on your Xbox One. You need to first set your Xbox One's language to English and location to United States. If your Xbox One's language and location settings are already configured this way, then skip to the next section. With your Xbox One up and running, open settings from the main screen. Select System. Select Language and Location. Set the language to English and the location to United States. You are now ready to configure the network settings. 5. Configure the DNS servers on your Xbox One. Return to the main menu by pressing the Xbox button on the controller. Go back into Settings. Select Network. Select Advanced Settings. Select DNS Settings. Select Manual. For the primary DNS, enter the numbers you obtained earlier. For the secondary DNS, enter the same numbers that you obtained earlier. When you are done, you will see a screen confirming your network settings. Press the B button to save your settings. You will then see a screen saying, it's all good. Congratulations. Media Streamer DNS has been set up on your Xbox One. Media Streamer is not a VPN. It does not offer the same privacy and security benefits as a VPN. 6. Register your host name to access Media Streamer with DDNS. In order to use the Media Streamer smoothly, you must register your host name on the ExpressVPN website. Follow these steps to register your host name. Go to www.expressvpn.com and click on my account on the top header bar. Sign in using your account information. After signing in, click DNS settings in the top header bar. Under Dynamic DNS Registration, enter the host name you want to register and click Save Host Name. After the process is completed, you will see an indication that the host name has been updated.